The news comes as the state now reaches 108 confirmed monkeypox cases. Olmsted County Public Health is telling people to watch out for symptoms and to isolate if you believe you've come into contact with the virus. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofal joins us with the county's response. Olmsted County Public Health says they reported their first case to the state on August 22nd. The Minnesota Department of Health has since then reported between one and four cases in the county. Public Health Director Denise Daniels saying in a press conference Friday, the person who first contracted it had recently traveled out of state. An individual is considered infectious until all of their lesions have scabbed over, um, fallen off, and the new, new healthy skin has developed. Um, so this individual will continue to isolate until that point. Monkeypox can bring muscle aches and other flu-like symptoms, as well as a rash that looks like sores or pimples. As of now, you can't get tested for monkeypox in Olmsted County unless you have a rash. On Friday, the county said they do not have widespread vaccination plans. They target vaccination to high-risk groups. We haven't seen any deaths in the United States right now. It doesn't mean that that will be the case forever. The monkeypox can also cause some disability, scarring. The county says monkeypox does not spread easily through casual contact. They also say they're not worried about increased transmission during the upcoming school year. Many living and visiting Olmsted County say they're concerned the community isn't ready for more public health risk. As a community, we have proven that uh, we're not prepared. We've proven it with COVID. Uh, back in the day, we proved it with AIDS. Here in the community, I have not heard anything about whether if we have cases or what should we do if we have questions or anything. We'll have more information on what to do if you think you may have contracted monkeypox up on our website at KAALTV.com. In Rochester, Emily Pofal, ABC 6 News.